Hello everyone, welcome to my channel UK Immigration and Visa Updates. Today update we will talk about and share with you latest news about. UK New Immigration Changes latest update regarding MP says changes to spouse visas are forcing academics and innovators to leave UK. Raising the earnings threshold for Britons to bring partners into the country on a spouse visa is forcing academics and innovators to leave, an MP has claimed. Liberal Democrat MP Leila Moran said the government is using taxpayer money to train highly qualified researchers, but that immigration policy then forces them out. The government announced in December that it would raise the earnings threshold UK citizens must meet for their partners to secure a spouse visa. Ministers said it would help the government reach its aim of cutting immigration. The threshold is due to rise from £18,600.23, to £29,000 in the spring, with plans for it to rise to £38,700 in early 2025. The government's recent spouse visa policy to increase the salary threshold is forcing academics and innovators to leave, Ms Moran told the House of Commons. She told of a British constituent of hers graduating from the University of Oxford with a PAAHDAADDDHEHE funded by UK Research and Innovation. UK's new immigration rules explained. Can the minister explain why is this government using taxpayer money to educate people to become highly qualified researchers if its immigration policy then forces them to leave? She asked. Science Minister Andrew Griffith responded, A fair immigration policy is absolutely part of an open Britain. And it's right that those who are coming here from overseas, living cheek by jowl with those who clean their labs, who drive their local buses, empty their bins, make their fair share and contribution to the UK economy. Home Office Minister Andrew Sharp confirmed the change of plans in answer to a written parliamentary question on Thursday. Mr. Sharp said the threshold of £18,600 allows 75% of the UK working population to bring their foreign family members into the country to live. Increasing the threshold to £38,700 would limit the same right to 30% of the working population. But Mr. Jones, the former Welch secretary, objected to the considerably lower amount now proposed. There could have been a far more focused way of dealing with this rather than simply dropping the threshold to a lower level, he said. Unlike a lot of immigration policies, one of the key impacts is on British people, who can't bring their spouse to the UK if they marry someone from overseas and if they don't have the right income. In a fact sheet detailing its plans, the Home Office confirmed that changes to the family visa scheme would only apply to new applicants. Anyone granted a fiancé fiancé visa before the minimum income threshold is raised will also be assessed against the £18,600 requirement. 